Hi, New Hold, and welcome to Making the Cut. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having me. I'm a huge BMW fan. Oh, fantastic. Now, are you ready? Uh, if you're ready, let's go for a ride. Let's go. Let's go. So, New Hope, we're here to talk about sustainability. And now, when it comes to the definition of the sustainability, the UN, the United Nations, has defined it as the ability to meet the needs of the present uh, without compromising the ability for, the, for future generations to meet their own needs. So, we know that sustainability is very much uh, implemented very differently across different organizations. So, what does sustainability mean to Levi Strauss and company? Well, Eunice, you know, I think it's important to understand the personality of Levi Strauss and Company. You know, we've been a, we've been around for 169 years. We have this thing that we talk about um, to deliver profits through principles, right. and this has always been a thing that that has guided us through through over time. Although we have a lot of initiatives we're doing ourselves, uh, we also, um, you know, want to leverage our leadership position uh, as the global uh, jeanswear leader to to also impact the industry as a, on on a whole. So let's talk a little bit about what the company is doing to achieve your sustainability targets. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about that. For us being in the in the clothing industry, we've not had a great track record, right? So the imperative yeah. is clear. We have to um, reduce emissions, we have to use less water, and we have to educate our workers. Right. So when you think of these three areas, our strategy around sustainability is really around um, climate, consumption, and community. Right. In 20. 10, we've co-founded uh, an organization called BCI, Better Cotton Initiatives, okay. to really put in practices to, to make use of, uh, or better use of water, better use or, or no use of harmful chemicals, mm. as well as um, improve the livelihood of the farm workers. So, okay. so cotton and water is, really, is, is, is two of the big ones for us over there. But an interesting one here in Singapore, um, we've also this year um, submitted our report to Singapore government around reducing our packaging around on our product. Oh yes, this so, is a big one. Yeah, and yep. so in 2022 alone, we will reduce our, our on-product paper packaging by 30%. Oh, fantastic. And we'll also um, reduce many of the plastic components uh, that we use to ship our products to our stores, oh. uh, completely eliminating that. So that's a, a good one. But I think the one talking about consumers is around uh, circular economy. Yes. Um, you know, and that's, and that's really about educating consumers how they, how they choose product and how they use product. Right. Let's talk a little bit about technology because you know I've learned that technology is an enabler of circular economy, which is what we talked about. And the circular economy, of course, is an enabler of sustainability. So, from your perspective, how do you think technology has helped um, with uh, achieving environmental objectives? We now use 100% laser technology to with all our denim finishing, oh, which, wow. which reduce or I should say eliminate uh, chemical use completely. So, so this is one. Um, at the other end of the of the of the circular economy, um, we within the you know within our organization are completely switching to digital tools. Oh, fantastic! So when we sell our product to our customers by using digital tools, uh, we reduce the the need for samples, physical samples, mm. which again reduce the waste. So let's talk a little bit about uh, using sustainable materials now. In the BMW iX, many parts of this car um, actually uses environmentally uh, sustainable materials. So for example, if you look at the leather, this is a really nice hue, right? Um, this leather, uh, natural leather, is tanned using an environmentally friendly process that relies on the olive leaf extract. When it comes to Levi's, like, what kind of challenges do you face when you tap on maybe new you know, environmentally friendly materials or even recycled material? Um, so our profit through principles approach have always uh, guided us through this process. Um, we have different tiered pricing. Okay. And so at the higher end where we pioneer these technologies and products cost more, we have consumers that buy into that. And consumers want that yeah. and they look for that. And they're prepared, pre prepared to pay more for, for products that, that, um, that can prove that they're more sustainable. Yeah. So yeah, we're very reliant on our supply chain and our supply chain partners, but we've been working and again pioneering ways of working with suppliers um, 
uh, from the turn, uh, turn of the century. So, so that's not new new stuff for us. So you've kind of <clears> been working on sustainability even before, you know, it's been so talked about, right? I mean, it's it's almost like like you're telling me even you know the the human rights movements, all that, everything about that also is the people part of sustainability. So you've so the brand has been at it for the longest time. You, you know, you know, our biggest criticism is that we, we've not talked about it that much. Uh, you know, internally within the company, it's one of our best kept secrets. Oh, okay. And, and time to let that secret out. Exactly. You know, <laughs> um, like you say, it's, 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 it's important for our consumers to know that yeah. we're sustainable. It's important for yeah. Gen Z consumers to, to know that where our brand stands um, when, they, when they make our product choices. The BMW iX that we're in uh, is probably the first EV SUV that has been produced with 100% green energy, right? And invari invariably, when you make uh, changes to your production process, of course, it affects, affects um, you know, your cost. And of course, when you apply circular economy principles, um, it definitely helps your bottom line by reducing costs as well. But, um, you know, how does Levi's, how do you manage, right, your production costs? make sure that you have a sustainable supply chain or production process and still stay competitive. What's the secret? Tell us. If you think where Levi started, you know, we were a manufacturing brand company. Right. You know, that has completely shifted. We only have two owned and operated plants today. As you okay. said, the majority of our supply chain is outsourced. I see. Um, but we work with these suppliers um, on very many things, not just sustainability. We, we call it terms of engagement. There's a very stringent TOE terms of engagement uh, contract that we have with each of our suppliers. Okay. And these talk about um, quality of life for the workers in those factories, but right. also about sustainability goals. As you lead the way in achieving sustainability objectives, the individual plays a very important part as well, yeah. obviously. So what is your advice for all of us as individuals on how we can also help to move, um, you know, environmental objectives along. A few simple things, you know. One, make good choices. Mm. When you choose a garment, when you choose a piece, piece of clothing, think of, of that company, of that brand, um, right. where that product is made of and whether it's quality and a durable product. Right. That's number one. Number two, think of your use of that product over its lifetime. Mm. As I said, water usage is probably the highest during the use of by the consumer. Yeah. Um, uh, and so that's the, how you take care of that product, you will also be taking care of the planet. That was really, really good advice. So, you know, I think even as consumers, we can be a part of the circular economy, right? Maybe we can, like you said, make choices, think about how you care for the product and think about how, you know, how you use the product um, over its entire lifetime and whether or not you, you, re you reuse it. I just want to ask you because just having this conversation with you I can tell that you're personally very passionate about sustainability so I just want to ask you why is sustainability so important to you if I first talk about me as a as a human being right and as a as a father of kids yeah and thinking of the future it is important for our long-term you know the word sustainability sustained living on this planet yes you know so I don't think what 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 is a more important cause <laughs> you know, I can't think of one um, and, and as, a, as a guy that works for a company that's, that, that always um, have, have great values and principles, I've been with the company now for 20 years, wow. it really resonates with me. Right. Um, so I just, I just think it's, 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 for, it's, it's, it's a matter of survival. Yes. <laughs> but, but also, I mean, it's a good thing. You feel good yeah. about it when you yeah. do something, uh, something good. So, yeah. it's, 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 it's a good choice. It's the right thing. And it's also a good business. Um, decision, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, now, tell me, since we're, um, you know, since this program is called Making the Cut, which Levi's jeans makes the cut for you personally? That's an easy one. Oh, really? Because, okay. um, you know, I think everyone knows the 501. Yes! Yes! That's my first pair. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's most people's first pair. But um, what I'm wearing here today is a 501, what we call slim taper. Okay. So you, you might know that the, the normal or original 501 is a straight cut. Yes. This is a... A, a, a slim taper cut, but it's still a fire one button, uh, you know, button fly jean. Right. Um, and it's and it's my it's my my current favorite. Oh so, yeah. really? <laughs> I'm sure you've gone through a few pairs of Levi's jeans yeah, in the yeah. in the 20 years that you've been yeah. there, right? 
Well, thank you so much, Nihok, for all the advice, uh, for your stories, for sharing so much with us, for leaving us so much to think about. And thank you so much for making the cut for the future of the planet. Thank you, Nisad. Thanks for having me. Thank you.